Hey guys and welcome along to another video. Today's video is the next video in our beginner to winner series. This series documents my journey of putting down the controller, turning on all assists and then trying to achieve my ultimate goal of becoming an A plus ranked driver. All the details of how you can track my progress via QDOS Prime are in the description below, so make sure you go and check that out to keep tabs on how I'm getting on. To all you regular viewers of the channel, welcome back. If you're new and this is your first video, hello and welcome. We cover all sorts of GT Sport related content here, so if this is a bit of you, please consider subscribing. So today we've got 10 laps around Suzuka in the Group 2 Lexus. Now the lobby isn't the strongest, I have noticed that, so that's why we've probably qualified where we have. But this is a good opportunity to try and get another top 10 finish following on from our last outing. For those who didn't see the last video, one, make sure you go and check that out after this one, and two, we had an okay race, we had the pace, but got caught up with a number of race incidents over the pair that we covered. We were more racy, but there was far too much throttle coming out of the corners, I just didn't have the throttle control, which caused a few spins which really, really ruined my race. So. I'm going to try and learn from this and continue my progression by aiming today to stay out of trouble during a race. I'm going to try and race smarter and not harder, not try and get into too many battles and be careful with the throttle control, especially coming out of the second degna that we've just been through and this hairpin and then the final corner as well because it was so catastrophic to our races last time out. So we'll recap the first part of the lap as we come out the hairpin and head towards the spoon curve for the first time. We got away okay, which is made much easier by the rolling start. It's much more difficult when we have an actual grid start. I haven't done too much of that, so I'll be interested to see how I get on with that without the traction control. But anyway, we got off to a good start. We lost a place coming into the S curves, but then we made one back as a German got something wrong and ended up in the gravel during the degnas. So, coming down into the casino triangle for the first time, I'm going to outbreak myself here and just go onto this bit of turf. Not horrendous though, just get out the throttle, which is another thing that I've learned. Get out the throttle when I'm in trouble so I don't spin because I really, really struggle to get it right. So, that's my first mistake, but it's okay. I'm going to learn to brake earlier the next time around and hopefully be a bit more conservative so I won't have that problem again. Coming down into the first turn for the first time, again, just a bit quick, really, to be honest, but another positive, we're back on the horse straight away. We lose a place to the Brit in seventh, but we managed to keep hold of eighth. Well, we did, then the German's just gonna fire it up the inside of us, and there we go, but he does have a penalty. So let's just follow him, sit behind him, concentrate on our race, recompose ourselves again and let the race come to us. That German as we come through the Degnus here looks like he wants to make up for the mistake he made on lap one and he's really trying to get a move on. As we come to the hairpin here he's going to try something up the inside of the Brit, he's going to go up the inside, he's going to go very very deep, bit of contact there but we're gonna stay with them. We've got out of there without too much of a problem. These guys are gonna hold each other up. Bit of ghosting. Coming into spoon curves again here. Just get our breaking point right. Come through here, nice and conservatively. And the bridge is gonna go straight on and end up in the gravel. So that's one less guy we've got to pass. We're gonna now try again, after all that excitement, to settle down and let the race come to us. As we cross the line to start lap number five, you'll notice that we've managed to hold the gap to the guy in front and pulled out a gap to the guy behind. Now we have actually been fuel saving. So as you'll notice, I change halfway up the bar in the middle there. As I went up to fourth, I'm also gonna stay in fourth for as long as I can through these S's. So I'm not using as much fuel as I normally would. I'm gonna change down to third in a minute because I feel I need to. And also this is gonna save us some tire wear. So I think the guy in front 
through watching him and seeing him push and slide about is really really going as quickly as he can so us with about 20 something percent of fuel left I'm hoping we'll be able to jump him in the pits another thing we've been doing here is we come down into the hairpin I haven't been changing down to first again saving more and more fuel so let's see if it pays off and let's see if we can get ahead of him in the pit stops so as we come into the Casio triangle before our pit stops we're about a second behind him we're going to come in with about 20% fuel and he's going to come in with one so he has been really really pushing so we don't need to fuel up as much we're out and we've gone from one second behind to two and a half seconds in front a successful jump there in the pits just from being a bit more conservative racing a bit smarter rather than harder and it's paid dividends so we just need to keep it on the track now and we can bring home a good good result fast forwarding slightly now to lap 8 coming out the Dunlop curve here down to the Degners there's one thing that hasn't happened in this race so far that is a spin just went too deep and too wide on the second Degna and I'm facing the Armco to make matters worse I struggle getting out and back up to speed just too eager with the throttle fifth has gone sixth has gone and we find ourselves down in seventh place we managed to recompose ourselves now as we try not to get distracted by the back marker there and look up ahead, the German is just going to be too eager on the throttle and round he goes. So we are now up to sixth. We were catching him anyway, I took about a second out of him. So maybe a bit of pressure came into play. But we have got someone, another German, right up our chuff. It will be interesting to see as we come down to the Casio Triangle, not outbreaking myself here. Try not to get it wrong on the way out be interesting to see if we can hold on to this sixth place so coming into the final lap the key is to keep this guy behind us we're going to come down to the first curve here run it out be extra conservative do not go anywhere near that turf come up to turn three the first part of the S is left here then right down to third keep it nice and tight to open up the next one, keeping it together, we're pulling out a bit of a gap now which is good, do not run wide onto the Dunlop curve otherwise you'll be in the gravel, down to the Degners, turns 8 and 9, chuck it in a little bit more conservatively than we normally do and be extra careful coming out the second one, especially as we get on the power. Having navigated them successfully we'll make our way down to the hairpin down into second, nice and tight here, easy on the throttle on the way out till the car's straight so that we don't get any oversteer and risk a spin, around the long sweeping right hander down into spoon curve turns 13 and 14. Early braking here, make sure we get our turn in right, the second part's even higher than the first, we're almost home down the back straight. So we pulled out a two second gap now, two second plus. So if we can just get 130R right, come off the throttle here nice and early. Through we go. Don't outbreak ourselves into the final few turns, the Casio triangle here. And the last hazard is just coming out the last curve. We've done that successfully and we're gonna come over the line to pick up sixth and our best result yet. So, 6th place, 32 seconds behind the leader, but all in all, more and more progression. Only one slight issue with a spin there, it was kind of a half spin, but some really good learning with the fuel. I think that was fantastic, something I'll definitely take on to future races. And with that guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.